Welcome to Retired Time Productions. Hello everybody, this is Dave from Retired Time Productions. And as you can see, I'm in the RTP garage today and I've got all the stuff laid out. No, we're not having a garage sale. Uh, do you remember this? Uh, this thing here? Yeah, I'm back on that. I think it's about time to build a mini talent. It's been sitting around too long. Here's the wing, or one of the wings. There's the body. Goes on like that. Okay, that's the basic idea, but there's a lot more to it. So I got a bunch of parts laid out here, and I just want to go over what I've got and get any ideas you guys might have on, on the build. But uh, let's just start with that. We'll just go over the parts in this episode and think about what we're going to do. Okay, let's just zoom in here a little bit and get a closer look. All right, to start out with, I've decided to use an APM with this job, and the APM comes in two, ty two types. I actually got two types here. This is the Hobby King version, and there is the case for it right there, and this is the inside of it. And you'll notice it has pins that are vertical, like that. So that's your typical type APM. Now, this is called the HK Pilot, by the way, but it's uh, an APM knockoff. And the kit comes with everything, including the GPS puck, telemetry radios, minimum OSD, power module, everything you would need to build your project, whatever it might be. Maybe you're, maybe you're building a rover, I don't know, instead of a plane, who knows. But there it is, there's the whole bunch of stuff. And it was fairly inexpensive, I think a little over a hundred dollars for, for everything. Then, we have this one. And this unit here came from Good Luck Buy. And uh, one of my viewers, and you know who you are if you're listening, suggested I use this mini APM. It's called the uh, APM Pro. It's a little bit smaller. And if you notice, the pins are horizontal. They're on the uh, ends here. They stick out this way. So that might be kind of handy, you know, as far as wiring and all, to have the wires coming out this way instead of straight up. Just a matter of preference. I'm sure there's plenty of room inside the mini talon to go either way. But uh, that was his suggestion. So we have that. And that again comes with everything. I've got the minimum OSD here, the GPS puck, power module, all the wiring. Whole works is right there. I also got the micro size Minim OSD. Uh, I might use this instead of the bigger one, but really weight isn't an issue really here, so uh, I may not use that, but it saves space. I've seen one thread, I think, where a guy, or maybe it was a blog, where he kind of hot melted it on top of the cover there and wired it in just to save space. Don't know if I'll do that. A lot of times I'll put my Minim OSD, that's this thing here, right up in the front near my pan tilt or in the pod, like, you know, underneath the pod. Here's a 3D printed pod, uh, thanks to Tony Vortexes. That was one of his designs. Might use that. I don't know. I might use the wood, too. So that's another question. You guys want me to just use the wood stuff that comes with the mini talon instead of using this 3D printed stuff? Thanks to John for printing these items. But I've got, uh, I could use the wooden pod instead of this and the wooden cradle instead of the 3D printed one. We also have some motor mounts that uh, Tony designed, but we could just use the wooden one. It's up to you. Maybe you want to go standard in this video. Uh, so let me know what you want to do there. And, uh, you know, I want to cater to you guys. This is what you're mostly going to, the way you're going to build it, the way most people would build it. Trying to make it easier for people because, 
you know, I realize not everybody has a 3D printer, so maybe you don't want to go that route. Okay, so also, I had a lot of discussion with different people. And of course, the popular motor, and I got this from GetFPV, a couple of things from GetFPV, but I got this, which is the uh, Sunny Sky, and it's the 2116 9 1100 kV uh, version 2, which is very popular. So I think I'm going to use that and probably going to swing a 7x5 pusher prop right here. I think I got these from Tower Hobbies. And uh, like I say, this came from Get FPV. Also from Get FPV, I got a an easy UHF receiver for long range and a dipole antenna for the easy UHF. I think that's what that's for. It's a semi-rigid dipole 43 megahertz. And then I've got a couple of these extender cables to extend the USB ports out on the easy UHF and the APM where they'll be accessible to the outside. And also, I'm going to use this Turnigy plush 60 amp ESC. That should certainly do the job, I think. Maybe it's overkill, I don't know. You can let me know on that. But you can guess where that came from. Turnigy, right? Where else does Turnigy came from? Oh look, it was made in China. Boy, is that a surprise, huh? All right, now we got a Ubeck here from the same place. And uh, this is a 5 amp Pro Ubeck, 5 volt, 5 amp. And that's to power the bus, the servo bus. I usually do that. Servo bus, and we'll also take care of the pan tilt. I'll probably use this pan tilt, but I'm not sure. This is one of my favorites. Uh, and put a GWS 360 degree servo on it so it goes all the way around. I may do that. You guys may have better suggestions. I know there's another one out there. I think it's the CXN pan tilt that I've used before. So that's another option. I don't happen to have one right here, but uh, I do have one, I think, somewhere. So that was uh, a bunch of stuff there from Get FPV and a bunch of stuff from Hobby King, if you didn't guess where those were from. All right, so I haven't picked out the servos yet for the control services. I don't know what I'm going to be using, so if you have any suggestions on the servos, uh, I'll take those suggestions. I won't try to explain this Tech Sumo wing because it's a whole other subject, but it actually does have the same size prop on it that I'll be using on the Mini Talon, which is the 7x5. So, and that's also a Sunny Sky motor. For the video transmitter, I'll probably use one of these digital brand video transmitters, and this is a 1.3 gigahertz transmitter. It has a 1258 megahertz and 1280 megahertz so that's probably what I'll use again any other suggestions are welcome for the cameras I'll probably do similar to what I have here where I have the uh, run cam swift and I've got a run cam uh, HD camera right here so I'll probably use those same type of cameras on the mini talon as well I know I've left you with more questions than I provided information, but uh, I'm kind of trying to include everybody in this bill that's interested in the mini Talon, so let me know what you think about all those things. And uh, get back to me. You can leave me a comment under the video. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like it, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And we'll see you next time for a little more mini Talon build. Here, play.